If you just picked up a new Mac or are looking for some new applications to try out, here are five apps that we think are worth checking out. Our first app is called Cloud App and it's available for free on the App Store, but there are in-app purchases to unlock its full potential. Cloud App offers users screen recording, screenshots, and GIFs all straight to the cloud. Once you have the app installed, a keyboard shortcut of Command Shift 5 is now ready for Cloud App screenshots. And once you've taken a screenshot, the file is automatically uploaded to your profile for Cloud App and a notification is instantly sent to you. So you can either click on the notification to open up the link or press Command V to paste the link into whatever app you might already be in since Cloud App automatically copies it to your clipboard. This works the same way with screen recordings and GIFs too. You can of course annotate screenshots or edit screen recordings if you'd like. And since everything gets uploaded to the cloud, this means you'll never have to worry about deleting all of the screenshots off of your desktop and all of your recordings off of your hard drive ever again. Just click on the menu bar icon to access your files. An individual user license is free, but it does come with limitations. But if you need more features or work in an enterprise setting where team management and comments or feedback amongst groups of individuals is important to you, Cloud App offers features for that as well. Definitely worth checking out if this fits your needs. If you're one of those who suffer from keyboard issues with the Butterfly Switch MacBook Pro keyboards, and certain letters are constantly typing out more than once after a single press, give Unshaky a chance. Head to the link in the description and click on Downloads, and then on the GitHub site, scroll down to the latest release, make sure it's not pre-release, and click on the Unshaky zip file. Once you've unzipped the file and installed the app, you'll see a prompt letting you know that Unshaky needs accessibility access. Go ahead and give the app access, reopen the app, and head to the menu bar icon and select Configurations. From here, select the keys that are giving you issues and set the delay to a suggested time of 40 milliseconds. This, in theory, should eliminate any of the duplicate presses your MacBook might be experiencing. That's pretty much it. Go ahead and let us know in the comments section if this has helped you out. This next app also might not apply to everyone, or at least those who don't have headphones like AirPods with a W1 or H1 chip. If you do own AirPods and want that W1 chip experience with your Mac, then give AirBuddy a shot. AirBuddy is pay what you want, but has a minimum price of $5. Once you open up the app, you can set up where you'd like the status window to appear, either the left, right, or center, and if you want to enable this feature for other W1 chip headphones. Open up your AirPods and you'll see a white box come in asking you to click connect, and your headphones are now paired with your Mac. This is a lot faster than going into the Bluetooth menu bar and connecting it that way. You can then check battery status in the notification center today tab. I would like to see right and left AirPod battery levels like you would see in the Bluetooth menu bar, but this is still a great way to quickly connect to your Mac. Next up is an app called Little Snitch and has been recommended to us by our viewers and readers many times. Most average users probably might not understand why an app like this could be useful or even necessary, but to sum it up, Little Snitch can warn you when apps on your MacBook are trying to connect to a server, allowing you to decide whether or not you want to allow that app permission to do so or not. This ensures that private data from that app isn't transmitted without your consent. If you happen to be getting a lot of alerts at one time, you can always run the app in a silent mode and then review those permissions at a later date. But Little Snitch provides you with real-time updates on what and where your apps are trying to connect to. The app also offers a slew of other features that can help you crack down on unwanted tracking software, Trojans, or malware that without the help of Little Snitch, you might not know was even happening. I highly recommend giving the free trial a shot and see what your apps are doing behind the scenes. Finally, in past Mac apps videos, we featured Station, which aggregates a bunch of different web apps, social networks, and services into one application, which makes switching between apps like Google Docs, Slack, Messengers, etc. a breeze. Stack is the same concept, but offers a slightly different look and feel, giving users the opportunity to look at multiple apps or services at the same time in a sort of a panel or stacked view hence the name Stack. This can easily help with productivity as you can see all of your web apps open at one time and allow you to never miss important info or notifications. Stack works with Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook, as well as YouTube, Slack, Messenger, Gmail, and much more. Also, if you don't see a specific service, you can always just create your own by clicking the custom app icon and entering the URL to the web app. The app is completely free and definitely worth checking out. As always, be sure to let us know which apps you use for the Mac that you think that we should feature in an upcoming video, or if you liked any of these apps in this video in the comment section down below. This has been Dan with Mac Rumors. Thanks for watching, and I will see you in the next one.